Yay! Oh my gosh. You guys, you have no idea how live. Well, I've been trying to go live for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. So I'm not really sure what was up there, but I am super excited to be here. I'm so sorry. Look, at it's like 10 to 10, but you'll find this message when you're meant to find it. Give me a like on your way in. If this mes message resonates with you, please let me know. Now, I'm a little... Um, I'm a little, oh man, I'm so excited to jump into this. Okay, so there's um, just so much going on. I have a message for all who chose pile number four, okay? And um, I've got Archangel Zadkiel here, and I've got a channeled message, and it's very simple. Are you ready? It's time to trust your spidey sense, okay? And I do want to do a little shout out to my friend at Shamanic Insight, Nicoletta. This was way before our conversation, by the way. <laughs> All right. So the archangels are here. I've done a pre-shuffle. Look at this. We've got Archangel Shamuel. I've got goosebumps. Um, I'm feeling like actually... You know, pile number four, you know, <laughs> I'm like, you know, you know, you know, pile number four, we've got a lot of things in common, you and I, all right? So let's just do like a real re uh, a recap. If you're not familiar with pile number four on the aardvark, you guys were the ones that I was talking about the ant and the bear, right? I was calling you the flyers. I told you that your song was man eater, right? She's a man eater, okay? And, you know, today, uh, again, I, can't, I went to the food truck. I came home, and I was sitting here at my desk. I still had some things out from last night, as I've learned just to kind of let things linger. And I took a look at the notes, and um, I saw the Jaguar. OK, because we were getting for pile number four that you were flyers, specifically astro flyers. We got the number, the angel number one, one, one for you. But, you know, this Jaguar was really like sitting with me. And of course, in the Air Force, that's what they call like they call them Jags. So this is kind of our starting point. OK, this is our starting point. Archangel Raziel wanted to let us know that, you know, to trust your spidey sense. Hey, girl. Okay. To trust your spidey sense. And so um, we're going to be doing just the Archangel Fire. We've got the Archangel Fire. We're starting with the number nine, Archangel Shamuel, on the bottom. It's really letting me know, really, that I'm feeling this is really about this heart awakening, wrapping up for those of you that chose pal number four. Yes, this is what I'm getting. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what messages want to come through. Now, that's why I chose to use the Spider-Man, but there's something interesting about the Spider-Man and about the spider energy and the fact that spider, the story of Spider-Man. So I want you just to kind of lean into that um, you know, Spider-Man was bit by a spider, but it turned him in this superhero and he kind of got lost a little bit and then he found his way and then there's different universes and all kinds of things going on there. So your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man has come here with a message. Okay. And what I love most more than anything is we were talking about on your pile, if you recall last night and being reminded um, that we were talking about, remember, Mercury and Mars. We were talking about, I believe it was your pile. We were talking about the fire and the ice, the red and the blue. And isn't that interesting that Spider-Man's costume is red and blue? And where is the spider on his costume? The web is all throughout, but the, but the spider is right here, right over the heart chakra. OK, and I literally uh, <laughs> one of the very first things I did was is Spider-Man part of the Justice League? And guess what? With exactly four, four, four on the clock right now, he is. So let's get into this message from the angels. 
Archangel Michael. We cut to him immediately. He's running to your side. Uh, we've got the number 23, right? He's running to your side. And the number 23, of course, just keeps coming up over and over and over. That's that bull energy, that Taurus energy, letting us know to hang in there through this double, double Aries moon. Okay, let's see. Saw a couple black widows online today as a sign. Okay, definitely, you know, we're the shadow walkers. This is the group that's the shadow walkers. And so there's no surprise Archangel Michael is running by your side because you guys are all doing so much work, right? So let's see. That's pile number. Or that's We're going to do seven of these. So that was number one. Number two. Here we go. We've got the chariot. We've got some fast moving energy. And I love this because I'm getting the runes. And in fact, I'm getting a message to choose some runes. Okay, so we'll see. So this is Archangel Gal Gagliel. Okay, I'm probably saying that wrong. And this was, this is very synchronistic. Okay, and it's meant to be. It's meant to be synchronistic so that we can find, you know, the magic here. But we were talking, I'm just trying to remind myself of everything that we, that we talked about. Uh, Timex, you guys are the ones who keep on ticking when you take the lick in. Remember, keep your eye on the prize. I thought I saw something. Where is it? You guys are, okay, no, this was uh, somebody else. I'm sorry. You know what? This is related to the 333. You know, I have a question for my pendulum. I'm getting really confused about a message I'm receiving. So I want to just go ahead and receive it. Okay, so um, Archangel, Archangels, are you here with me? Do you work for light? The highest light. So I'm getting this message. I'm hearing Valkyrie. So pile number four. Are they, is this because they'll resonate with all the piles? Yes. So if you were on with me for Oracle last night and you listened to more than one piles and you chose pile number four, you're resonating with all the piles because it is the steps that you are taking. Yes. You're on a different step. You're ahead of the pack. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting that you're ahead of the pack. And I was getting a little confused because I heard Valkyrie and I was like, wait a minute, because I remembered channeling Valkyrie in pile number three. So we're being told to look right now. I'm getting a message to look right now at pile number three. And just the information is what I want to share here about pile number three. Remember, pile number three was all about the, uh, the comic book, uh, Cerberus. Um, the underworld, the 300, the survivors, the victors, the Valkyrie, right? Um, you know, the comeback, trusting your instincts, okay? And number 333. Three, three. This is letting us know that there is 10 years, something about 10 years, and um, that we're going into something new. Remember, we had 10, we had 2020 vision going into clarity. OK, yeah, all the underworld stuff. So th that's being brought up here. Thank you, angels. I was like, what is going on here? OK, goosebumps. Thank you. We're in the right department. It's just uh, Metatron letting us know this is a structure change. Number 31, literally a structure change. Now. What's interesting is that's a structure change on the sacral. Okay, so I'm getting sacral chakra or start chakra. So what I'm getting here, and this makes so much sense with the spidey sense, something in the waters, right? The water guardians. This is so interesting how this is all coming together here. The golden energy, which is the Atlantean timeline. So we've got something coming up between the sacral chakra, the, Venus, the Venetian, right? So sacral gives me Lemuria, Lemuria, sacral. So that we're talking about something in between Lemuria and Atlantis. This is exactly what we're talking about. There's a structure shift between. And um, we're going to get some more information, okay? And this is causing balance. Balance is coming in, the number 30. Look at, we've got the owl here. 
Look at these Athena vibes, right? We've got this, this Maribel, Maribel, okay? And she's not looking in the mirror. She's not seeing the triggers. She's learned from those. She's learned from the moon cycle. She's learned from the animals. This is like really letting me know that you're really tapped into this fast moving energy. And in fact, what I'm feeling here more than anything is you are a conductor, okay? So that... When I say that, I'm, I definitely am feeling a train, okay? You are a conductor, but more than that is silver is the most powerful conductor. They A lot of people talk about copper, but silver in itself is a powerful conductor. And, and it conducts what? Electricity, okay? So this is really talking about being an intuit. I just heard intuit. What is that? Into it. Okay. <laughs> Archangel Uriel. We've got the number six. Going through some integration, burning off some things, a purification process. But I see he's holding a book. So I feel like this is also part of a learning process. Okay. So this integration, this holding pattern. And you know, today is also... Today's the 31st, so if we look at the numerology for today, we get a 3, 31, and then, the, and then, of course, the vibration for the year is a 7. So we have a 3 and a 31, and we just talked about Metatron being number 31. Remember that? Okay, where did it go? I'm trying to look for it. Probably shouldn't mess with my cards like this, but so... So that's really interesting. So we've got the 3 plus a 4 plus a 7. So we got 311. Is that right? Which is another 14. Let me see. Today is the 31st, right, you guys? Or is it the 30th? Let me know. Somebody put it in. So the numbers are just chatting with me, right? So let's see. Today it's and it's 1001. Exactly. I just don't have my phone. Here it is. So March 30th. Okay. So that's interesting that I gave you the numbers for tomorrow. Okay. If there's my word again. Okay. So like the numbers, they just communicate, you guys. I don't know how to explain it. So we got a three, a four, and a seven for tomorrow. You know what, you guys? It's a seven and seven day. It's a double magic day. Wow. Okay. So we have a three, four, and a seven creating the numerology for tomorrow. So we're getting seven and seven, which makes a 14, which is talking to me um, about the next step, right? So I feel like we're closing up something. We're closing up this huge, <laughs> we are, I did mention that Archangel Michael is going to share a message tomorrow. So come back and watch. I'll share the message. He's going to be sharing a message um, from the actual aardvark, but we had to wait for the portal to close. So there's a portal coming in. It's the 30th for me. Yeah, girl, I'm sorry. I'm on the wrong date. Okay. So today is the 30th. So I'm just, the numbers, they like to come in and kind of talk about the vibration. So we've got a three plus a three plus a, plus a seven, which is a 13. Okay. Yes, that makes sense. Today's the 13. Tomorrow's a 14. Okay, so we've got all these things coming into balance. The Earth Star Chakra, we had this major Earth Star Chakra activation. Soul Star Chakra, because there's an arc between them. Imagine the rainbow. There's an arc that goes in between the highest and the lowest chakras, right? And um, this is what creates the layers of our aura. And so there's just this, this huge shift, okay? But tomorrow, there's a lot of magic at hand. So... It's kind of cool that we're getting this message today. And what is this message all about? What is this fast-moving energy all about? It's about divine justice, actually. It's about divine justice. It's about the twins. Um, we literally have the twin Aaron here. It's about lightening the load. It's about releasing. And look at the heart. There is um, oftentimes talk about the heart being like um, – weighing less than a feather. So this is like really uh, a portal that's closing that's really, um, you know, lightening the load for us all, right? It's the 30th. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I don't know why I thought it was 31. Okay, 
So let's see. We also have Archangel Sandalphon, number seven. He's our lucky charm right now. He's actually, uh, as I'm talking about portals, he is the one that comes in for me to close portals, okay? So uh, I work with him daily, actually. Just worked with him within the hour as I was like, what is going on? Why can't I get on YouTube? And I did it. did a full cleansing all the way through. And guess what? We're up. We're up and running. <laughs> so that was really interesting. But what songs are, are coming uh, forward for you, okay? What's happening for you? Of course, we had the song shared, She's a Man Eater. So we're being told to go back and look at that. And that's where I saw the Jaguar. It's actually in the lyrics. And if you watch the video, it's actually, um, there's a Jaguar actually going through the video, okay? Um, the actual animal. And the message that I'm hearing is to invoke your, jagu your Jaguar. To invoke your jag invoke your Jaguar. Wow. So that is really interesting because we got this animal collaboration going on. And so um, invoke the invoke the Jaguar. Yeah. So pile number four, I'm getting an extra message for you guys to invoke your your Jaguar, okay? Which I think is funny. I keep saying it like that because I always say Jaguar. But, you know, this is coming in as Jaguar, which is, yeah, it's a super powerful message. Invoke your, 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 um, your, your Jaguar, 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 same thing. So how do you do that? So whenever the animal wisdom comes in, you know, it comes in as, as I said, with the moon cycle, right, you guys? So, um, for those of you that are on there, I'm just going to go ahead. Let's just go ahead together. For anyone that feels guided at this moment, of course, trust your instincts. Come back if you want. But it is my purest intention, Archangels of the Highest Light, to invoke um, the, the Jaguar, the Jaguar for myself, my, my family, my husband, my children, my ancestors, my husband's ancestors, and for Mother Earth. On all timelines, dimensions, realities. We also invoke the Jaguar for all who resonate with this message on all timelines, dimensions, realities for their highest good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that's that's uh, so very cool that that just happened because I just saw a lot of action in my mind's eye. So was this intention received? Is it of the highest good? I have learned that there is something about my voice, so you'll have to let me know if that resonates with you guys. If you didn't feel guided, you can come back and tap into that. But what the animals do, a lot of people think it's just the wisdom, okay? So this is what I want to get into today, is um, I've always invoked the animals every single time they come up. So right now I have a badger. <laughs> we have the badgers. Uh, we have the um, aardvarks and now the, the jaguar together. They're working together. So there's a really a closing out going on, a collaboration. And isn't that interesting that we mentioned the 333 and now we're talking about three different animals. Let's keep going. So here we have divine justice happening. Okay. Divine justice is happening. I have a rooster. <laughs> you got a rooster, girl? cock a doo, doo Look at all these cuts to the silver energy, the Shekinah. So the 39. It's just like we just have all this very fascinating energy. All these silver bullets, all this conducted, fast-moving energies all around us. Okay, so let's see. And why? Because we're talking about the Atlantean timeline. We're talking about going into our treasure chest, the Earth Star Chakra, right? Here's the Trident. We're talking about unlocking the Trident. We're talking about getting clarity, vision, and focus, okay, on our mission. We're talking about see you later to the killer whales to the energies that try, the dense energies that try to take us down, okay? Um, and we're coming out of the water, out of the emotions, coming to shore. And I believe with the master number 22, this is actually a challenge, an ascended master challenge. 
Now, the reason I'm saying that is because I went back. I was guided today to go back to look. Last December, I did an all year. I did a little breakout for the entire year. It's the pinned post here on my page. And so I was like, you know what? What am I sharing for the month of April? And this is actually meant to come up for you guys. Okay? So I'm going to share exactly what I wrote down. It's not much. So each month there was a word that popped up and the word for, I'm trying to find it. Where did I write it down? Okay. And the word for, for the month was, um, yeah, where did I write this down? I know. Don't I seem very discombobulated? Please forgive me. I, I am feeling a little discombobulated. Okay. So here it is. I remember I wrote it here. You know what? I don't know what's going on there with that. I don't know where I wrote that down. You ever do that? I know where it is. It's in my calendar. <laughs> okay. So here we're going to April. We've got this pink moon coming in in six days. We've got a lot of energy happening. By the way, I'm going to be doing a, on Saturday, I need to set up an event on Zoom. I'm going to be doing a Phlox Quartz Night Meditation. I will do a shout out to my friend Trish. She allowed this attunement combination to come in. It is a free, um, it is a free meditation for all. We'll be doing it on Zoom, and it's at five o'clock Central Standard Time. I will post in the community board. Okay, so but this is super related. Ascended Masters, those who are working, some of you are building things. Okay, building things to allow this whole change. This this change. I'm hearing the chain ice age. I'm here. You know, it's interesting. I keep saying interesting. I guess that's what happens when I get a little discombobulated. <laughs> but it is really cool to see that she's coming out of the water. And and I heard ice age. I heard ice age. A freezing. There's a freezing going on. Wow. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is number seven. And here we go. We've got number 21, Lady Luck. Okay. Lady Luck is on our side. This is number seven, Spirit. Okay. So this is number seven. Lady Luck is on our side. The Oracle is on our side. Okay. And it's like, what am I getting here? Wizard of Oz. A hundred percent getting Wizard of Oz. Because I'm thinking of the scene in the Wizard of Oz when you know, it's not a woman, but it's a gentleman and he's a fortune teller and he's sitting down with Dorothy right before the storm comes. And it just like everything looks like that, except for her. I'm seeing him instead of her. And, and he's the one that becomes the great and powerful Oz. We're off to see the wizard. Yeah, that's actually what it feels like. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> okay. So we've done seven, seven actual cards, seven shuffles. We're talking about, okay, the angels always communicate with me in different ways. So we're talking about with the seven, we're talking about the seventh chakra, which is right here, the throat chakra, okay? So, and I was mentioned, I was mentioning 77. Wow, I just have so many different messages coming in. Okay, so the throat chakra is what we're talking about here. We're talking about the throat chakra. Those of you stepping into your truth, right? Stepping into your truth, Lady Luck, the 777, right? Whoa. And who's back on the bottom? Who's back on the bottom? Archangel Sandalphon. Watch the music to come in. But also, if you feel guided, I will let you know um, because I searched the website. I searched the web when this first happened to me. Who knew that I had a talent in opening portals? But the problem was not so talented in closing portals. So, Archangel Sandalphon has been such a huge guide for me when it came to that. So, I'm just going to share with you. 
if you start feeling really sleepy, if you feel like you're being hit over the head, if you feel like this big change in your energy, and I'm just wondering, like I'm going to ask right now, are there any portals that are not of the light that are open? Because, you know, I'm like, why am I feeling like this? Do you work for the light? I am getting that there are portals that are not of the light that are open. So let's go ahead and close these portals, my friend. No wonder I feel so out of it. So see, this really all meant something, everything that's been happening. So it is my purest intention, Archangel Sandalphon of the highest light, to please cleanse, clear, seal, and close all portals that are not of the light on all timelines, dimensions, realities that are affecting my energetic field. I set this intention with the highest regard for all, the purest intention of love and light for all on all timelines, any and all energies that have crossed over into my energetic field are be to return to the light and sent back to where they came from. And any and all of my energy that has crossed over is to be returned to the light and sent back to me. Thank you, Archangel Sandalphon. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your assistance. Again, please cleanse, clear, and close any and all portals that are not of the light on all timelines, dimensions, realities. And I am seeing the shift happen, okay? So this was meant to go, this is, this is actually coming forward for so many reasons, my friends. Those of you that chose pile number four, this knowledge is coming up, this, this intention that I share with you um, on how to close portals is actually coming up for purpose, okay? Because many of you are also experiencing um, portal openings, okay? Because Why? Because many of us are stepping into our mission, right? And with that, <laughs> as we increase in the light, so we become more seen, so to speak, okay? Which is why we're getting so many messages about cloaking, right? About cloaking, our, our energetic field. So again, angels of the highest light is my purest intention to cloak my energetic field on all timelines, dimensions, realities for my highest good. Again, I'm just modeling the behavior, okay? Modeling the words. And I'm going to ask Archangel Sandophon, Archangel Sandophon, is this what you wanted me to do on this oracle today? I'm getting a yes. You wanted me to share how to close the portals, okay? Because a lot of portals that many people are experiencing, and it's it's like you, just like you're so tired, like you can't make sentences. For all of us ladies out there, it's like when your woman friend comes and you're just like you get more clumsy, things like that, okay? So, but there's a lot of different energies coming through technology, okay? So take a few minutes, my friends to close and just ask. Now notice, portals that are not of the light. This is very important. Portals that are not of the light. I'm also getting a message right now that if you haven't already, to set the intention to disconnect from the moon. I just heard disconnect from the moon. Disconnect from the moon. Because some of you are on a lower vibration of the moon. So again, it's just a simple intention. Angels of the highest light is my purest intention to, <laughs> there's some energies around me. There are energies around me that don't want me to share this with you. So, um, but there, but it's like, please disconnect me from the moon. Okay. And this is because on other timelines, specifically, I'm getting like some of the lower timelines, but in specific, I'm getting the uh, Mayan timeline. So um, that there were some attachments made to the moon cycle that are outdated, okay? So it doesn't mean that you're not going to be working with the moon. Notice we're all working with the moon, just as we all work with the sun. But we are taking ourselves from an, a lower vibration, a vibration that doesn't match where we are anymore, okay? Um, all right. Thank you, Archangel Santa Fun. Gosh, all of that because of him. But, you know, I do. Like I said, I use him a lot. Okay, so we were getting, here we go, two shuffles, seven. Look at that, two shuffles, seven cards. I did seven shuffles, two cards. 
<laughs> Let me see what they want me to do real quick. See how discombobbled I got? I'm Normally, it's not like this, you guys. I apologize. Okay, so how many shuffles would you like? One, two, seven cards. Okay, they still want me to do the same thing. <laughs> All right, two shuffles, seven cards. Wow. We have an alignment. We have an alignment. Yes. All this fast moving energy is coming in for purpose. And it's like we're feeling multitasking. Okay. Lots of different things happening. Feeling discombobbled. But it's like we've got this alignment coming in. Okay. And, and we've got the energy to be able to maneuver maneuver through these okay um so that's the first thing now this makes more sense to me it's all about keeping that balance okay so here 11 12 are you seeing this first we had 11 now we have 12 we're just following the steps okay <laughs> and i'm being reminded today we said is a 13 tomorrow is a 14 uh, but i don't think tomorrow is a 14 because tomorrow Oh, yeah, it is. Isn't it so funny how you look at things in, in a different light sometimes? <laughs> All right. There's Uriel again. He's back. He's back to talk to us. So let's go ahead. We've got seven cards. Okay, ready? The first one is Archangel number 15, Archangel Jophiel. Isn't this a gorgeous card? Such a beautiful card. She is here to remind us, and, and she rules the solar plexus, okay? So, um, and this is just what I'm sharing when it's coming for me. She rules the solar plexus, which is all about Mu, the elemental kingdom, puts us in touch, putting us in touch with our magic, okay? So there's a transformation going on in that timeline. There's transformation, and I'm hearing you're free to do what you want any old time. What's that song? I'm free to do what I want any old time. Love him, love him. Wow, we uh, that's so crazy. And there's I'm I'm one two three four five six seven eight nine different butterflies. And look at. They're all the blue butterflies, okay? Ten. There's the tenth one. So we've got, look at this. We've got a transformation happening. Are you seeing them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Showing us that, that we're free, the end of a cycle, okay? And look at the wind blowing. That spirit brought this in for us, okay? I'm feeling more connected. Here's Archangel Raziel letting us know number 17 letting us know that we've got this heart awakening healing. The caduceus is being held in the left. The healing has been done by the divine feminine. A feel, a, actually a healing to the divine feminine is what I'm hearing. Um, and it's like now, <laughs> it's, it's so funny because I'm hearing finally, finally. So there's been a lot of interruption, okay? And um, we've got the roses in the background. We've got the water flowing, right? The trickle of the water. I can kind of hear it in the background. And the harp medicine. So it's like this healing is uh, the Sisters of the Rose. And I'm getting it's uh, cleanse the water. And it's put you in, in, in tune to your heart song. Okay? All of that. Wow. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. We've got, this is my favorite card in the whole deck. It's so beautiful. Crystal, my last name is Christidis. Okay. It's number 36. This is the healing, the sacred heart healing, the coming together from multiple timelines. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Multiple timelines turned into one. Multiple timelines turn into one. Wow. And why? Because the Rainbow Tribe, the Rainbow Tribe is here to heal divine masculine. I have seen this card multiple times. Every single, every single time I see it, I it's number 37. It's giving us that 10 vibe about the healing to the divine masculine. And I see that because why? These runes. Do you see these marks here? And it's like um, it gives me the X, Y. 
okay, the masculine. Do you see it right there? And it's like the rainbow tribe. Close to spirit, those of you that are close to spirit, the rainbow tribe, the colors coming in together, the collaboration. And look at what's here again, the butterfly, the transformation of the butterfly. Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right. Then we've got number two, the key holders, the shadow walkers. This is who I'm talking. If you want to see who you are, <laughs> this is who you are, my friends. Do you see it? This is who you are. You are strong. You are powerful. You, you are close to spirit. You see things in a very unique way. You are guided by your intuition. You, you are a key holder, okay? You're a key holder. Some of you are gatekeepers. I'm hearing gatekeepers. Some of you, look at the bees here, okay? Now, what I've been getting lately with the bees is really, uh, my favorite word, interesting, okay? It's like, it's like we're getting all the butterflies, but some, but some have felt like the bee. They knew that they were too heavy to fly, but they, but they used their wings anyway. They used their will. And, and, and it's like when they use that will with that vibration, and this is what is so powerful about you, pal, number four. It's like you're more than the victors. It's like the wisdom. Remember, I was getting the pearl, the queens, right? The queen bees, okay? But this is what's changing because the hive in itself is really kind of, um, you know, think about it. The hive is, is made of cells. And it's like in a lot of ways, the queen bee, she was locked away in a cell as, as her energy was being taken to, you know, help the all help the all the rest of the hive only one bee it was up to her and, and in a way they were sharing all of her energy wow this is really interesting it's coming in like this okay saw the most beautiful video of a rainbow cloud in china so synchronistic timeline complaints yes uh i'm feeling that so much timeline collapsings into one yeah for sure and look at as many times as I have seen this card, look at this. Do you guys look at this? Do you see this right here? It's probably just the camera, but <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, so look at right here. We've got this little cat right here. And all this time, I've never noticed this cat right here. But the cat, the cat has the ability, and we are talking, <laughs> the cat, the cat. The cat, the jaguar, okay? The black cat, the luster. I'm coming back to the messages from yesterday. Sleek, luster, iridescent, nighttime, flyers, astral. And the cats are known to travel into to be to be able to travel into different dimensions. That's why cats are so high vibrational, is because they're able to go from dimension to dimension to dimension. In fact, many people and many videos have been posted about how the cat will go one way and then come out another in another way. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but oh my gosh, this is definitely related to the message that's coming in for us. Okay. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, number six. You know what these are, you guys? Oh my gosh, these are chakras. Wow, okay. So we've got number three here. There's another, I mean, this is, okay, I'm just gonna keep going because here's um, Uluru. Here you go, Nicoletta. Here's Uluru in the background. He, you know, and this particular angel, he's got his uh he's got his little tool that he throws out and it comes back to him. Okay. We've got the Aborigine timeline, the storytelling, right? The storytellers. You guys are the storytellers. The shadow walkers and the storytellers. Oh, the things that you could tell. And then here we go, leading you to your mission, the golden eggs, the golden ones. Wow. Illuminated, 
illuminated, enlightened divine feminines, enlightened divine feminines is what I'm hearing. Okay. So there's more to this reading, you guys, and it's just like, I'm just trying to pinpoint it. So I'm going to go to the back of the book real quick. And I believe that there might be a spread here. Okay, there's no spread. But I'm, I was getting, I was telling you guys about the chakras. So this really means something. I'm, I'm going back to my, because it's like, I've been trying to go live for so long that now I'm feeling a little discombobulated, but I want to figure it out. I want to chew on it here. So uh, these cards, angels, that we brought in, seven cards here. Thank you, by the way. Are these chakras? That's what I was getting. Are we talking, is this the earth star and moving up? Earth star, root, sacral. Oh my gosh, you guys, I knew it. Okay, we're going to actually, I introduced them all, but we've got a little message for each one. Okay, so we've got some messages. First of all, overall from Archangel Uriel. Let go of anger and unforgiveness. Remember we were talking about fire and ice. Okay, I'm getting it. 40 minutes in and I'm finally getting the message. Okay, are you ready? Um, fire and ice. We were getting this. Fire and ice. The red and the blue. We had Archangel Michael bust out first. We've got Archangel Uriel here on the bottom showing us the red and the blue, the Spider-Man colors, right? And I'm, he's holding the book. There's something to learn. We're collecting the wisdom, okay? We're collecting the wisdom. And so what's coming in is a little. Uh, we're going to have advice about each of these chakras because what I'm getting overall that we're speaking about is the seventh chakra, okay? So we're going to go up each one to see if this resonates with you, um, those of you that found yourself coming here. Now, Archangel Uriel is coming up, and with purpose, I always share that Archangel Uriel wants to work with you, okay, to all light workers, specifically you shadow walkers. Why? He rules the light body, okay? He is the one who assists us in cleansing our light body. So if you think about your light body, okay, if you think of your light body uh, actually like um, – just think of it as one band, okay? Think of it as as um, as this. You know, a lot of you have huge energies, and so we have this ability, shadow walkers. As we walk, as we walk our walk, we have this ability to just grab energies as we go, and as we grab them, they start to fill up our light body, right? And as our light body starts to darken, it gets a little heavy, but we continue to continue to grab and grab and grab because that is one of our sacred missions, walking on this earth plane. You've been doing this from a very young age, pile number four. You were probably brought into some families that had a lot of heavy and dense energies, but you always seem to lighten the load, okay? You always seem to lighten the load. Yes. You were never feared away. I'm seeing in my mind's eye, I'm seeing the energies in front of you and they never really, uh, they never really uh, made you afraid. And in fact, in a lot of ways, they came to you and, and they felt friendly because um, for many of you, your walk has been filled with trauma. Okay. And so uh, what I'm seeing here is in some ways, this allowed you to really understand the dark side, the shadow work is a comfort zone for you through your experience, not just this walk, but all the lifetimes prior to this. Okay. Many of you are what we call, um, what's that term? Monads born to the dark. It's all, you know, but what's really interesting is I'm tapped in here is no matter how things have gotten darkened around you, you never lost your light. Okay. You never lost your light. <laughs> I'm seeing that in my mind's eye um, because the angels have been guiding you the whole time. Okay. The whole time. And so you can tap into these superpowers that you have, if you will, you can tap into these superpowers and you can ask Archangel Uriel to come be with you. Anytime you're out in the sun, ask him just to come be with you. And what he does is he comes in with the sun and he lightens and cleanses your light body. 
so that all those heavy, dense energies that you're always grabbing and assimilating all the time, he assists you by bringing that into balance so that you can continue on your walk doing what you were meant to do. Okay, so that is the first purpose of him being here. And but what's but but this is actually really important because it is this ability because the light and the dark are on the same bandwidth, it is this ability that's been a little confusing for you, pile number four. So I'm getting an extra message to share with you that as you do your walk and as you collect and as your light body fills, it gets to the point where it goes. It gets too full and you vibrate. Your vibration and your frequency is based upon your light body. And so this is sometimes how you attract different energies. It's just the nature of how energy works, right? And so this is a little bit extra information just for you to understand the mechanics of who you are. Okay, the, the, the mechanics of who you are now. Um, so he wants to give you a message, Archangel Uriel, about about your light body, because that is, you know, stepping into your truth and being your true authenticity is really understanding what a shadow walker is and how to to understand that, you know, because many shadow walkers have been condemned. These are the ones who were told they were witches. These are the ones that have been burnt at the stake. These are the ones who, you know, have have been looked at, you know, for their gifts in a bad way. And it's like, in a lot of ways, for you, it's like this is a coming of the light. This is a reversal. This is a, this is. Remember, I kept saying this is an unbecoming so that you can become. Okay, and so um, here we here and here we go. Our Uriel talks about salvation. Let go of the anger and the unforgiveness and let my flame of love illuminate your heart. I can help free you from the emotional pain. If you do not know the right words to say, call upon me and I will speak through your heart. Now, he uses the ruby red fire, okay? So and you don't have to know any of the words. You just call upon Archangel Uriel and he naturally brings that light body into balance, okay? Thank you, Archangel Uriel, for coming back up. All right, we got it now. So let's move into, let's talk about these, okay? So it's so funny that I'm getting Archangel, so we have Archangel Jophiel. She's talking about this freedom, right? talking about this ending. We're talking about the earth star chakra. Now, this is just confirmation. We've had a collective earth star chakra activation. March has been activating, 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 activating over and over and over. Okay. Lots of activations. So we had an earth star chakra activation. And remember, we were told to plant ourselves, to grow where we were planted. So think of the earth star chakra as like the dirt, your treasure chest. Inside the dirt is buried your treasure chest, right? And if we were to dig, which we're digging with, oh my gosh, we're digging with the aardvark. Wow. Okay. So we're digging. X marks the spot. We're on a treasure hunt. See how this is all coming together? And so we're digging and digging and digging to go into that earth star chakra. Why? Because when we open it up, it's a little bit like Pandora's box. And everything in there is all the things over our lifetime. And so a lot of the energies that you're feeling on top of what you're already doing as sacred shadow walkers, okay, is you're also going like a file cabinet through everything in that treasure chest and you're alchemizing it. Why? Because just as we already talked about, we have multiple timelines, multiple energetic fields coming into one coming into one because of the sacred heart, okay? So let's go ahead and find out a little bit more from Archangel Jophiel. Number 15, we're integrating. It's a vibration of a six. See, it's like I feel so much more in touch. <laughs> Sorry, it took a little bit, you guys. I guess that's just how it is, right? 
So she's talking about joy, Archangel Jophiel is, but with the number six, there's this integration process. There's this like kind of like up in the air feeling, kind of like, look at that, this up in the air feeling as she's on the swing. Collectively, we're waiting for our feet to hit the ground because of all this switch, right? So she's got a message for all of us. Be joyful. Let go of your physical, heavy physical and emotional burdens. Release the baggage. Allow new clarity and happiness to pour into your life. Then you can rise up out of the gloom and fly higher. Okay? And, and I love this because we were talking about the bee before and how we found our way to fly. Even though the bees never knew they couldn't, it's like we found a way to fly. We stepped into those wings before we even knew we had them. That's how powerful you are. That's how confident and courageous that you are because of your walk, right? And so Archangel Jophiel is letting you know it's your time. This is your time in the sun, my friends. I feel like there's this inversion process, a reversal, so to speak a popping up, so to speak. So keep your chin up, keep your, keep, keep your chin up. And when I talked about the sun, it's really, um, more important. It's because you're so powerful, my friends, <laughs> don't stare into the sun. Okay. The sun is actually a huge portal. So there are lots of energies going back and forth through the sun. Okay. So don't stare at the sun. Many people will do that. Um, and you can pull some energies down that you're not looking to do so, okay? But you can sit in the ray of the sun, and you can ask Archangel Uriel to, to come be with you. And for many of you, when this happens, this is that earth star chakra connecting your solar plexus, connecting what we're talking about here, connecting the two, okay? And what will happen is you'll see, many of you will see a Mandela open up. And it literally helps release the energies that are in your light body, okay? I like to stare at the sun with my eyes closed for meditation. Yes, okay, that's perfect with your eyes closed. There you go. Yes, because it actually illuminates, right? Um, I, I, I notice that too. When you uh, meditate in the sun, it actually illuminates what's in your mind's eye, no matter what you see. Okay. Thank you, Archangel Uriel, that Earth Star Chakra. So we're wrapping that up. So this is just really kind of flowing into what I into what's happening. Now, Archangel Raphael is here to talk about what's really at hand, what we're really at hand right now. Because I told you that this whole thing that was here, the message came in, two shuffles, seven cards, the healing and the magic on the Egyptian timeline, okay? So I know that you guys are shadow walkers. You've unlocked many keys on this timeline, okay? Um, and what's happening now is we've got Archangel Raphael here to talk about our root chakra. Now, the root chakra has always come in as the Egyptian timeline. I've always seen a red and a black. That's where I kind of get that bull, that Taurus energy, okay? And... Um, We've got a number 17 here. So we're becoming one with the magic, one with the magic on that timeline. And in fact, what is that magic about? I am not at liberty to reveal, but there is some really big energies, really big switch happening at this time that's really going to align with a lot of you energetically. So keep watch, okay? But there's a huge, a huge healing happening to create the eight. We've been trailblazing to the eighth dimension and Mother Earth has reached the eighth dimension and is the eighth dimension where you get to shed your shadow self. So shadow walkers, in a lot of ways, that shadow self has kept you um, undercover, so to speak, okay? Undercover, so to speak. But at one point, you will be able to shed that shadow self and be able to feel much lighter, okay? And this is the, the healing that's in hand. And what's really cool about it for you, okay, this shift that's happening is collectively many people are going to the fifth dimension. Now, I'm not trying to create a hierarchy. I'm just trying to help you understand a little bit from what I've been shown what this all means, okay? So 
collectively we're moving into this fifth dimension. We've got this huge spiritual awakening happening really across the board. And as we step into that fifth dimension, um, you know, many of you shadow walk, all of you shadow walkers, there's a gift in the challenge for walking in the dark this whole time because, because I'm beginning that this walk in the dark was never meant for you. Okay. It was never meant for you, but this is what we had to go through evolution. We had to go through lots of different uh, epochs, lots of different things to get to the point where we are now. Okay. It doesn't really matter what happened before. It does matter where we are now. Okay. And so this is the healing at hand. And Raphael is coming in as he is, he is the guardian of the heart chakra. Okay, so he's letting you know this heart chakra, this heart awakening. And this is uh, actually, um, I'm getting the vision of, I will let you know that I have seen a spider in the heart chakra of Mother Earth. Okay, and so this is really coming back to that spidey sense, trusting your spidey sense. And this heart chakra awakening, let's, let's call it what it really is, my friends. It is the dark soul of the night healing the feminine energy. So all of you who have been going through this dark soul of the night uh, over this past year, okay, is really related. And I know those of you that are here that find this one, that you've been doing this because it's part of the mission. It's part of stepping in. It's part of unlocking the keys. It's part of the coming together, okay? Um, and so Archangel Raphael is here to let you know the healing is at hand. The gift is coming in the challenge, you know, and this is for the sisters of the rose. And this is uh, for the divine feminine because the divine feminine is the one who brought this healing in because it is the healing of the divine feminine, which will in turn heal the divine masculine. And that's what we're seeing here. OK, so this is like uh, dominoes, if you will, dominoes, if you will. Let's move to the sacral chakra. We've got Christelle here in the sacral chakra the house of our divine feminine. Look at this card and tell me there has not been a healing to the sacral chakra. Now the sacral chakra, it actually talks about Lemuria um, in my timelines. Okay. So we've got Lemuria coming in here. We've got number 36, the healing of Lemuria. Now Lemuria itself um, for myself as well, those of you that have tapped into Lemuria, I've never, I'm going to be honest, I've never tried to tap into Lemuria, but I have, okay? So let me share a couple things that I've seen in Lemuria. The very first thing that I remember is hearing, is going into Lemuria, and for me it's been more about some of the trauma, okay? It was an all-feminine it was all feminine. It isn't now, but it was an all feminine, all feminine um, place. Okay. And there was teachers and there was a lot of learning and paying it forward was like kind of like a utopia. But there was energies that came into this timeline and basically caused a lot of trauma. Myself, I endured um, uh, the, we had the, like, I, I had this vision of like, um, time travelers, a bunch coming in. I was like in this huge energy. It was almost like Gulliver's travels. And they like basically chased me and roped me down into the ground and, you know, did not very nice things to me. It was a form of torture. And so this timeline was really difficult for a lot of people. Okay. Very difficult. So difficult that many people don't go back there, but this is the thing you've got if you, it, I'm being reminded, I'm being reminded it, it, that when you witness, in, in there's that phrase that when you witness something, you can release it. And so when I have seen, I have seen the shadows almost like um, they were etheric, okay? There were these etheric shadows. And there was no discernment on that timeline. And so this is why it was really painful because there was this um, alignment to a lot of uh, darker energies and um, they were not prepared for that. OK, so it caused a lot of pain. But this is why this is coming back. We have a healing coming to that. We're bringing balance to that. We've got the number nine. We've got a coming together. 
we've got the rainbow okay it's like we've got the we're crossing over into something new here okay and we've got the number 36 this is talking about the vibration of nine this is talking about a healing to this timeline and specifically with these numbers we're finding balance in the integration balance and integration is leading to the healing and where is that balance and that integration happening it's happening in the sacral chakra it's happening in the sacral chakra and it's also happening in the higher heart okay in the higher heart and that's exactly what archangel Raphael is saying he's here on the sacral chakra he's holding his heart he rules the heart but through this awakening is what unlocks the higher heart, which is just above, okay? Which is where we started, right, my friends? With Archangel Shamuel showing us the, the 369, right? Which is basically the 333, all right? The, it's, it's really the same thing. So Christel wants to show us a message, and his message is of peace. A more peaceful time is coming to you. You have worked hard to create peace in your life and the lives of others. Trust that you, trust that as you do no harm, no harm shall come to you. And it, um, I recently was just looking at this and there's a couple of things I underlined and I wanted to share this with you because I, I find some synchronicities here. He brings the, this is the, the angel that brings the peace. And in fact, it sounds like Christ and this angel's name can be literally translated to Christ of God, Christel, Christel. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of getting champagne, okay? I'm kind of getting champagne as a celebration to bring peace into you. But he has an ethereal, pearlescent, pearlescent white light. Notice I said pearl, okay? Um, because that's what that's what's going on here. And we're seeing the rainbow, a symbol of promise. And this is what I was getting, the gift and the challenge. When we do the split, okay, which hasn't happened yet, this is all happening in the ethers at this point, but it is coming, is like when we actually have this official split, I mean, when we have this ascension, instead of just going to the fifth D, instead of going to the fifth dimension, actually, many of all of you shadow walkers will go to that eighth dimension. That is your gift for the challenge. This is something that has been coming in from the beginning of my awakening. So just hold the phone, stay there, keep your heart open. Remember that just like Christ, you are the storyteller. You hold the vibration. You plant the seeds of ascension. As you walk, you cleanse the grounds, okay? In a lot of ways, you are Christ-like, okay? I heard Lemuria was the feminine and Atlantis is the masculine. Yeah, yes. And specifically, Lemuria is the dark feminine. That's where the dark feminine was created. And in Atlantis, that's where the dark masculine was created. Okay. And so when you have them go hand in hand, and uh, it's like you can see why we have the chase, the mouse and cat chase game. Okay. But that, but we, there's nothing more to learn from that. There's nothing more to left to learn from that. Look at these links. One, two, three, four. Okay. Look at these links. Okay. The conductor. I told you the conductor. The conductor. The silver. All this silver energy that was coming in. You guys are the conductors. The conductors. The symphony. Ooh. The symphony. You change vibration and frequency just by being here. And as you ascend, you continue to change the vibration, the frequency. And that is how anything and everything changes. You change the shape, you change the frequency. You change the frequency, you change the vibration. And, and then it's like, when, what does that all lead to? A different experience. A different experience. Okay? Let's go into that divine masculine. Look at, let's go into the divine masculine. How is the rainbow? Oh my God, you guys, this is so gorgeous. We were just talking about how we've got the, the rainbow, the crystal happening. The crystal waters is what I'm hearing. Wow, 
the crystal waters of the sacral chakra and the rainbow leading to the rainbow warrior holding the divine feminine. This is the card for the uh, solar plexus, which is the house of the masculine. Okay, now the house of the masculine, for sometimes it's confusing, but I refer to that as the timeline of Mew. But when you go through Mew, through this heart awakening, there's an alchemy that happens here. You go down into the treasure chest, okay, because the golden energy is, is actually the alchemy of the solar plexus and stepping into your power. Okay, so with this card, we're showing that the divine feminine, the crystal waters, okay, uh, who we no longer have the interference, so to speak. And this allows us to be closer to spirit, the rainbow warriors, the divine feminine, those who plug into who? Into spirit, but also into the ancestors are coming together in many different forms, doing the dance, I'm hearing doing the dance, the tribal dance together, okay? 22 different ways is what I keep getting. 22 different ways to he to heal. One of them, I've been told, is my Rainbow Bridge class, which is this attunement. That's just one of 22 ways. And I've also been hearing, I've also heard, there's only so many of these. So you're going to hear about some more openings, some, some ahead of the time, some very, like, ancient ancient um, healing modalities, okay? And this is the rainbow warriors coming in, shedding the feathers. Wow, shedding their feathers. So beautiful. So number 37, and then look at this, you guys. I mean, are you seeing it? Number 36, number 37. First, we get the crystal waters of the sacral, then we can heal the divine masculine. It's very gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Thank you, angels. This is really coming in beautiful. And we are talking about the rainbow ray here. So this is uh, Tahariel, the rainbow child. The angel of purity. The angel of purity. I'm just going to say it again. And purification. The angel of purity and purification. Wow. Like her image in the card, her, this is a her, the divine feminine, embodies all the color of the rainbow perfectly blended to create the white light of the divine. Gorgeous. There's a, Nash, a Native American prophecy which says, when the earth is ravaged and the animals are dying, a new tribe of people shall come into the earth from many colors, classes, creeds, who by their actions and deeds, I've got full-blown goosebumps, shall make the earth green again. They will be known as the warriors of the rainbow. Honor your sensitivity. Let go of your self-limitation and acknowledge the purity of your heart. Every child is, is born of light. You are returning to the true state of innocence. And this is because many of you were born to the dark and that was never meant for you. Although you have learned so much and has enabled you to become leaders, is able to be able to walk your ways, okay? Can my, par can my partner is my, my partner is my soulmate. I'm not sure what you meant there. Uh, Gayatri mystery. Can my partner, I think you meant, can my partner be my soulmate? I'm not sure if you want to rephrase that. Um, so, but basically we're getting a message here that it doesn't matter what matters. And what matters is you, this is a coming of what is meant to be. This is exactly so if you didn't know, this is exa you're exactly where you're meant to be, my friends. Exactly where you're meant to be. So this is so beautiful so far. So let's go ahead and talk about what's coming in now. We've done the earth star chakra, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, heart chakra. Look at this, heart chakra, Uluru, okay? Uluru, the number three, 
bringing into balance. Okay. Now the, the Uluru is the heart chakra of the world. Okay. Uh, it is considered now I've been shown that, uh, the heart chakras are of the world are not necessarily in the right place. There are some shifting going on. Okay. And so don't be surprised that we see new, new chakras, but I have been shown how the dragons travel through the mountain of Uluru. Okay. The dragons specifically are where the dragons are housed in the sacral chakra. So we can say there's a divine healing happening to the dragons, okay? There's a divine healing happening to the dragons. And it's like this boomerang. What we throw out there is coming back to us, the stories that lead us, okay? So it's like this is um, – and look at all these marks. This is how many lives you've lived is what I just heard, okay? But I've heard that – Uluru, I've been shown in my mind's eye with animal wisdom more than once, how Uluru and other couple of mountain ranges, how the dragons travel and hide in the mountains. And it's almost like the game of Clue. Their backstage passes, and they take you to secret places. So when you go through Uluru, you could end up, you know, in Iceland, okay? Um, you know, there, there actually is a connection of Norway um, to Uluru. There's a passageway that they go down, and it's like all of a sudden, it's through the Atlas Mountains, and all of a sudden you're in Uluru. So there's these little um, hidden passages, okay? I'm not really sure I'm talking about this, but I am. <laughs> so we're just embracing it. We're just embracing what comes up. But we do have a message about your heart chakra, okay? And this is from Archangel Agnikiel. Agnikiel. And Archangel Agnikiel is part of the Russet Ray. He's the way shower. He's the adventurer, the shiny one. He wants you to embrace your individuality and your independence, okay? He is an, Ab an, an Australian Aboriginal warrior. And he wants you to embrace any challenges with the spirit of adventure. He's a free-spirited angel, okay? And so this is like really saying to keep your heart open, all right? Keep your heart open. Keep your heart open. And it's like, look at the left, okay? So in the left hand, he's holding the stories. So many of you are oracles, storytellers, way showers. And in the right, he's holding this, um, well, let's read about it. Let's read about it here. Free Spirit Angel helps us to step out of the constraints put upon by social conditioning and expectations so we can speak up for ourselves and, and see what we need for our, our authenticity and our, our integrity, okay? He is the ruler of November and the sign of Sagittarius. For some of you, that's important. You can call upon him to appreciate your uniqueness, okay? And that's really what this heart awakening has been all about. There's no one like, and his, here's his message. There's no one like you in the world. You have a unique purpose. Believe in yourself and have confidence. Life is one big adventure. Life is one big adventure. He has another message here. Feel pride for your achievements and celebrate your success. Challenge the status quo, and if something doesn't feel right, calmly stand up in your beliefs going forward, knowing what it feels like to be a way shower and an inspiration to every person you encounter. Okay. So that's why I was saying you're the way shower. You throw, you, it's like you, you take and you, you, you can, it's <laughs> okay. This is what I'm getting with this, uh, with this, what's that called that he's holding the boomerang. God, I'm like, what is that called? It's like you can take your energy and you can go out and retrieve the answer, okay? So it's like this is how you're a way shower, and this is what you're meant to do, okay? This is what you're meant to do, to show others the way. This is how you keep your heart open. This is how you connect with others. And, and the heart is the bridge, right? The heart is the bridge between the lower chakras and the higher chakras. It is our center, and in a lot of ways, you are the center. The stories, the storytellings are the center, 
right? The, the tribal, the ancestral tribes are the center. And it's like, there's, um, that has a lot to do with, with how you work. The shaman, right? The shaman. The, and that's what the stories always were. The stories of the aboriginals are about a lot about the store, about the actual, how the creation, the creation stories. And these often lead people in many directions and to heal, okay, and to healing. And that's what they're meant to do. Okay. So for, uh, that was for your heart chakra. For your higher heart chakra. I am laughing because you have the keys. You had the key to unlock it the whole time. And in fact, I'm hearing you have the key to unlock it for others as well. The black pearl. Wow. The black pearl is what's coming up. And I'm and I'm and, and, and when I when I'm getting this message, it's like resonating with the pirates of the Caribbean. The black pearl. That that ship, the Black Pearl, was actually able to voyage into different areas to show people how to find the treasure, to find their own treasure. Where in that heart, in that Earth Star Chakra. So as we're talking about Atlantis, as we're talking about Lemuria, there's a special integration. There's a special alignment happening for you guys that have found this pile, and this is what allows you to be. The flyers, okay? The flyers. This is what allows you to be the jaguar, if you will. The jags, the flyers. Um, we're talking about the boomerang here, okay? We're talking about being able to go in between different dimensions, okay? So for the higher heart, we're getting the um, number two, okay? We're getting collaboration, working with others. You're definitely meant to be a spiritual worker, and in a lot of ways, you're meant to be a spiritual entrepreneur because you take creation from chaos. So you create from chaos. This actual angel's name means God's knowledge or the understanding of God. This angel is the epitome of the divine feminist. She aligned with the great cosmic mother. Like an image of her as, uh, let's see. She guides us to seek, to seek spiritual perfection. Like the image of her, of the veiled Egyptian goddess Isis in this card, she's the teacher of esoteric knowledge, mythology, spells, and rituals. Unyielding and sometimes more a little demanding in nature, she works working with her can feel like an initiation into the darkest depths of the feminine mysteries. Can I get an amen on that? Can I get an amen? As the keeper of the Akashic Records, wow, she offers you the key to unlocking all lifetimes. When you enter the cosmic her cosmic womb, be prepared for what is lurking below the surface of your subconscious to be brought out into the harsh light of day for review. She is a powerful protectress. There is nothing to fear. As the truth, however, discerning will always set you free. She is a brilliant ally to resolve conflicts. The keeper of the ring pass not. Wow. The keeper of the ring pass not. She rules over the cycles and the waters of creation. Man, I feel so much kismet with her. <laughs> she has been part of my mission. She offers you silence, which is vital in seeking higher wisdom. Once the, once the lift of the whale and peer into the dark recess of your soul, trust this angel by your side, guiding you across the abyss. Powerful alchemy is at hand. And here is her message. Stay the course. Your soul is calling you to a deeper and higher wisdom. You are entering a new phase of creation. Many new gifts will be revealed. And that's the alchemy that happens that's what Archangel uh, Samuel started with, the healing at hand, another nine, the 999. This was forecasted not too long ago. And in fact, I have a message from Archangel uh, Samuel that I will reshare, that I did share. But let's share it again. It's right here somewhere. Hold on a second as I look in my notes. Oh, this came in. Oh, that was the honey badger. 
okay? Because it was a beautiful message, and it was from Archangel Samuel. It was one of my first messages because just like me, many of you are working with Archangel Samuel for the first time, okay? And here's her message. No matter who you are or where you go, know this. You are loved more than you possibly know. As many stars are there are in the sky, that is as many blessings that are expressed for you. Bathe in love. Let go of your insecurity and fear. I am love. I am you. Angel number 999. That's what reminded me of that message. Okay, so there's an extra bonus message there because we're talking about the higher heart and Archangel Samuel rules the higher heart. The changing of the green to, to, to the rose, the green to the rose colored, okay, taking you up into the higher chakras. And we arrive where? We arrive at the throat chakra. And so we have the golden egg energy coming in. We arrive at our, main, our mission. We arrive in this turquoise energy forecasting what's ahead of us. Uh, we've got on the masculine side, we're losing, you know, the masculines lose their feathers, but they're actually charged with crystals, not just the masculine. Well, I say the masculines because um, they're the only ones that, that have that look to them. So let's go to Archangel Zach, uh, Zachariah, Zachariel. I apologize for any and all miscommunications here. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The names are not as important as the message. Okay. Number 20. Graceful surrender. Graceful surrender. This is the angel, the remembrance of God, and he asks us to remember that we do not have to carry our burdens alone. It's okay for help to ask for help when we need it. And a lot of you have people coming in, actually, collaborations coming in, okay? Notice it's 20. This is your mission, but it's featuring the number two, which is a collaboration, and then the zero, which is spirit. So spirit is bringing in this collaboration for you, okay? To change the vibration of the masculine energy, to enlighten the divine feminine, to allow you to get in touch with the golden egg, okay, the golden egg, the alchemy between the two when they have the alignment, okay? So the message here is the material aspect of your life is only temporarily. Gently release any attachments to me. When you surrender, you open to receive that which is truly yours. This too shall pass. In this card, Zechariah is portrayed as a Yaz, as a Yazid, a Yazidi man, a member of the ancient spiritual minority group from Turkey, Syria, and Iraq, who have faced persecution and genocide. Like um, other angels, he's here to help us surrender to the divine when we have nowhere else to turn. Okay? Nowhere else to turn. But I did see a prayer here. So hold the situation, the issue. There's a prayer here. So I want to actually speak this out. Beloved Zachariah, mighty angel of surrender and release, I hand over all my cares, my worries, my fears, and my doubts, and all my hopes, my dreams, and my desires. Lift all my burdens from my shoulders. Clear my mind of anything hindering me from receiving the clarity I need. Please bring me to the best outcome to this situation. And then you can name the situation. For my highest good, I must say to bring us into our authenticity. For my highest good and for the highest good of all involved, I trust in you to bring about a swift and miraculous resolution, which will occur in perfect divine timing. I surrender to the will of the divine. I am ready to receive the blessings and miracles you and the angels are gifting me with. I ask that I easily recognize any gifts, blessings, and miracles as soon as they arrive. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. It is done, it is done, it is done. Thank you. And I send this prayer out to all who came 
to all who found their way here. Uh, one, two, three on the clock. This was supposed to be a lot more simple, but you know, it is what it is. Archangel Uriel on the bottom confirming this reading for us all and um, letting us know to remember to call upon him to help with that light body because it's that light body that's really kind of tripping up a lot of you that found your way here. Okay, so this is a really beautiful message. I just wanted to tap in real quick. Um, Angels of the highest light, is there anything else that you would like? Are there any other messages that you would like to share? with our group today. I'm getting a yes. Do you work for the light? The highest light. Do you want to show me something? You want me to, you want to show me something? Okay. And I can share it with everybody else. Yes. Okay. So the angels want to show me something. Uh, is this you, Archangel Uriel? I'm getting a yes. Okay, so Archangel Uriel wants to show me something. I'm going to tap in, and I'm going to share what I see or what comes to me. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing, um, what I'm seeing is what I know to be <laughs> as a purification. Um, the violet flame, okay, as I use the violet flame a lot. I'm seeing this. I'm actually seeing spider energy. Trust your spidey sense. Trust your spidey sense. I'm seeing, I'm feeling here. I'm feeling it right here in my pineal gland. Okay. As, um, as this, and I'm seeing that the spider is being lifted away. Okay. So the message here is about more clarity. There's more clarity coming. We're in, in, in um, I'm just kind of putting this together uh, because we're in this integration process right now. So clarity is coming. We're in the middle. We're in the in-between right now, if that makes any sense. Because remember, I told you there's a portal closing, okay? So there's this huge portal closing that's affecting all of us, but specifically leading to a very big change for those of you that have found your way here. And this is what I was seeing. Yes, it's like this inverse. Okay, hold on. I'm still being shown. There's a healing to the inverse energies. The reason I'm saying inverse is because I'm seeing energies like down below. Okay. I'm still being shown more. Just a moment. This has to do with the spider energy, which I know comes from the Egyptian timeline. So there's an integration process as we're closing out the Egyptian timeline, as we're alchemizing on that timeline. And so this is why the shadow this is why the shadow um, walkers are being called. All hands on deck. I'm hearing all hands on deck because there's a huge transmutation process occurring. And we need all light, all of those of you that find your way here. This is why Archangel Uriel brought the message about cleansing your light body, because we need all hands on deck. And in fact, there's lots of energy that you're picking up a lot. And this really resonates with me because I've had to cleanse like three or four times today. So this is a very fast moving energy that's filling up our light bodies. So call upon Archangel Uriel to cleanse, clear, balance, align, heal, seal, and purify your light body. If you want to add with this ruby red fire, feel, feel you know, whatever you feel guided to do, of course, you, you need to ch chat with your angels, chat with your guides. There's something else that wants to be shared. Is there something else that you want to share with this vision? Okay, no. Did I, did I, did I cover everything? Is this portal closing? Okay, as I'm saying that, has this portal been closing for over a year? Yes. This is the, uh, this started about a year ago, this time a year ago. And so everything that you've been going through it's like we, we've been going backwards. I'm getting a yes. 
We've been going backwards. We're undoing what was done to go back to where we're meant to be so that we can lift, have liftoff. Is this correct, Spirit? So this is the message that's coming through. Any other messages? I'm getting another yes. Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. Do you have something you want to say? Do you want, do you want to show me? He wants to show me. Okay. So he's going to show me something now. Okay. So what I'm seeing is the shadow self. Is this the shadow self? Yes. So like what I was trying to, I was trying to let you know. Is that, I'm sorry, as I'm tapped into the energy. So everybody sees in a different way, okay? I see the energy, and so they're showing, it's like energetic. This is the portal. Is this the portal? Yeah, the portal that's closing. Okay, I, I understand now. Archangel Michael, let me verify. The Archangel Michael, he came first, and he wants to end. He came first, and he wants to end this session with you to call upon him to cut and sever all cords. Thank you. Because with this portal closing, you're going to be able to sever cords that you haven't been able to sever before. Is this correct? You, because you were entrapped and entangled. And so when this portal closes tomorrow, 331, which is why I was talking about 31, okay? We've got the 3 and the, thir and the 31. Three, four, seven, the seven and seven, the double magic, the double magic. Okay. And uh, that's going to be the perfect time. Is it uh, in the morning? No. Afternoon? Yes. After two o'clock? I heard after two o'clock. After two o'clock Central Standard Time? <laughs> yes. Okay. So it must have to do with what the, what the moon is doing. So after two o'clock, you can have a session. If you're feeling some heavy energies, will they feel some heavy energies? Oh, I'm getting, you'll feel something in your sacral. Yes. Archangel Michael is saying, you will feel, I just felt it, a sensation like cramps in your, in your um, sacral, in your hip area. And when you feel that, you'll know that it's time to cut the cords because the spider energy is hiding in the state was hiding in the sacral. Oh, that little. And so that's why you must trust your spidey sense. Wow. Beautiful message. It took me a while to get it out. You guys, I appreciate your patience for those of you that being here. I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Is there any other messages? Does everybody share what they want to share? Thank you to the angels. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you, Archangel Uriel. Thank you to all the archangels that came forward. I've got full-blown goosebumps. I, I believe that I've done. It took me. It took me a little bit, a little bit to get it across. But this is exactly what the angels and the, uh, the archangels wanted you to know. They wanted to give you a little bit more information about what's happening inside of you, and not just inside of you, but around you, and what that means to be multidimensional, and why we're becoming one is because instead, uh, it's to make things easier. It's to uh, be able to not be splintered. It's to be able to stand in your power. This is what this whole process has been about. To be able to step in our power so that we're not splintered. Because when we get splintered, we give our power away. So thank you, Archangels of the Highest Light, for this beautiful message. Thank you for all who find themselves here to receive this message. I hope it resonates. I hope that you love it. Uh, I hope that it provides you guidance. And I'm going to see you on the flip. I'm going to see you soon because, oh my gosh, so many, so many wonderful things have been coming in. So let's see. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful message. You're such a gift from God. Blessings to you. Oh, you're so sweet, honey. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for receiving. Okay. And, um, you know, we all activate each other. We're in this together. Remember, we're a tribe. We're a tribe, y'all. Okay. I'm just doing my part. And I can't wait for you to do your part that will assist me because that's how it works. 
There's no guru. There's no I in team. Even though we're all finding our individuality, right? Even though we're all finding our individuality, we're still part of something bigger. We're still part of something bigger. And that's the biggest thing to remember, to rely on one another. You're never, ever, ever alone. Many blessings to you. Listen to your spidey sense. We'll talk to you soon.